What is up, YouTube? What is up? What is up? What is up? What is up, YouTube? And welcome to this new video. Today, I thought to myself, why not do like a quick studio tour to show you guys what happened over the past months and years? Because um, I never did one of these, so uh, <clears throat> now I'm doing it. So uh, yeah, thought to myself, why not show you <clears throat> how my throat is getting fucked up. <clears throat> Take you with me and do like a MTV Cribs kind of walk around and show you stuff. Because that's cool. Because everyone does that nowadays. Or I might just be too late on that trend too. So, um, yeah. Without further ado, let's get started. I'm just going to show you how I do my videos, how I create my videos. Because this is my kind of my space. This is my man cave. Uh, this is where I spend most of my time. This is where I edit, where I make videos. And basically everything so um yeah this is my happy place well then the kitchen so let's get started okay so let's get started over here it's nothing much just a tv and uh of course you have the diamond pickaxe from minecraft and the screen mask so this one is the oculus quest when i try to do some you know gaming like where you have to actually move so so it's healthy for you up here we have jenga something some sticks like they supposed to do something like make the room smell better but uh i think they're not working anymore so you have to follow things um, down here, some other stuff. This bad boy I got when I was in Hawaii and some of my old phones. This is probably my best phone, uh, my favorite phone I ever had, I ever possessed. It's a brick, it's, you can't destroy that thing. Down here we have some other games, you know, like back in the day. This thing, I don't know what it's called. Yeah, so we have a couple more games down here. Again, a Hawaii plate I got on Hawaii. This is the ladder over to the top over there because you have like a additional sleeping place, but it's, uh, I don't use to sleep there. I just have some foam and some other stuff like tripods and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, that's the ladder for getting up there. You know, what's funny about the ladder is because it fits here so perfectly, but uh, it was not intended, you know. I just mounted these uh, shelves and I was lucky enough to leave so much space so that the ladder fits in because I wouldn't know where to place it otherwise if it didn't fit. And um, down here we have a keyboard whenever I try to do some sound design and stuff like that. I don't use the TV that much because all of the work I do, I do over here where my PC is. But I uh, use it if I have like uh, come like if I have friends over stuff like that, or I use it like a fireplace when I'm streaming. Cause that's kind of cool. And over here we have like a black shade, like a black cover. Uh, you can see it over here. Like ah, these puppies I made myself, and uh, it's pretty awesome. You now there's just some wood and some black fabric and i use these to cover the windows over there because whenever i want to try to control the light i need to cover those um, so no sunlight gets in the studio so that's why i made these and it fits perfectly over there because behind the black shade you have like a what is it called the thing that makes heat is a heizung i don't know the heater i think Anyway, the whole studio is designed so it fits my needs. Over here, you can see I have some hooks. And I have this thing. What is it called? I don't know. Uh, I, just, I guess I'm just gonna have to Google it and uh, put it in there. So anyway, you just grab the hook and you put it like over there. You have like uh, another hook where you can strap this on you have like a a, a hanging mat uh, like a hanging mat i don't know over here we have like some boxes and uh, a mattress so if anyone wants to get a nap or stays overnight they can chill over there that's cool and um next well this is my baby which i rarely use because i don't make music the at least as much as i would want to but uh this is my amp this is a bajera 
I think this is supposed to be like a replica from the PV5150, I think it is. And underneath you have like a 2x12, um, I think it's the Holly Benton speaker. Yeah. So whenever I feel like it, I'm just gonna plug it in and shred something on it, you know, and uh, that's about it. But I rarely use it, but it's there and it looks cool. Back here we have like a, not a storage box. I just put some stuff in it, like clothes and whatnot. Um, yeah, so whenever I need to tidy up, I just grab all my shit and throw it up in there. So yeah, that's cool. Okay, moving on. So we have some tripods here and some, some stands, but behind the stand is my Prusa i3 MK3, my 3D printer, which uh, I also don't use that much, but it comes in handy every now and then when I need to print something like, I don't know, some camera accessories or stuff like that. So it's nice to have probably the most important thing in this room, especially in, in when it's warm outside, like in, in the summer. Oh my God, what, what, what is this thing called? A fan, a fan, it's a fan, thank you. So I got a fan over here and, and I have another fan downstairs because you definitely need those when you're up here, especially in the summer because it, it hates like hell. So you need to cool this room down because otherwise you're not able to work. Yes, you're, you're just sweating bullets and uh, it's not fun. So yeah, opening the window doesn't help. Over here, what do we have over here? So we have some boxes, um, we have some tissues whenever I get lonely. Then I get a, have a lamp, I don't think it's plugged in. No, it's not, of course not. Then we have cactus and some paper stuff and storage boxes, a whole hell of a lot of them because you need to stay organized. So we have some tripod stuff over here and then we have like adapters over here and yeah, trying to keep things organized because otherwise everything is just a mess and I have to search for things like hours and hours and yeah it helps moving on so this is my backlight for the setup I have over there so yeah this is the Godox um, SL 60V on a tripod which um, I'm not that happy about right now because it's on a tripod and uh, what I'm trying to do in the studio is to have the floor like clean with no tripods. So I guess I'm going to try and mount it on the wall, uh, on the ceiling to see if it works uh, like I did over there. But we're going to get to the main area in just a minute. Over here we have uh, some guitars, which I also rarely use because, um, yeah, time. Is precious and I don't have much of it so but I did use the bass and the guitar to record the track for the 3d statue video I made a couple of weeks ago or last week or two weeks ago anyway so yeah whenever I feel like making music I make music if I have time okay so this is my main editing setup it's nothing special nothing wild the case is down here i think this is a uh, what is it a ryzen 9 5900x i don't know something like that with 12 thread uh with 12 cores and uh 24 threads and uh, unfortunately only a rtx 2060 because well gpus are not available right now but you got to do what you got to do this baby right here is a samsung i don't know what's it called but it's wide so i have a big ass timeline whenever i'm editing or i can even play on it because it has like 120 hertz so whenever i feel like playing i'm playing it and it's also hdr i think uh another monitor over here just for a program monitor so when i edit i have my timeline down here and whatever it comes out on top then uh, we have some stuff going on over here like the stream deck you know because everyone needs a stream deck then you have some other stuff like card readers and stuff like that Alexa then you have the speakers this is uh... shut up Alexa shut up Alexa house 
Alexa doesn't speak English. Anyway, so so we have the Yamaha speakers. These are the HS8. Uh, they sound great. Whenever I have to do some mixing or um, yeah, editing, they're perfectly fine. <coughs> Sorry. Over here, this is uh, my live streaming mic. Uh, I think I made a video about this fella. Come on. Yeah. Okay. Now it's focused. Focused. God damn it. Focus. Okay, so um, this is the Shure SM57. I love this microphone. It's a dynamic microphone. It sounds almost um, like the SM7B, except it only costs like a third or a quarter. So great mic. I love it. Never want to miss it again. If I want to do a, like a podcast with 10 people, I'm just going to buy like 10 SM57 because they're cheap and they sound if you know how to tweak them, they sound like amazing and undistinguishable from the SM7B. Okay, now, so just a regular ass table behind here. We have uh, like a, another stand, which uh, where the Sony A6300 normally is on top, which I'm currently filming on right now. And what do we have here? Drawer, just some stuff, the controller and stuff like that. And then we have everything that has with, to do with lenses and tools and stuff like that. So this is where I play games, this is where I edit, and also this is where I work. Because of Corona, I'm working from home. So this, I'm basically all day um, in this room, editing, working, watching YouTube, as you can clearly see, gaming, so the, yeah. <laughs> I only need one room. Now comes the fun part. And, uh, oh, we got this, okay, of course. So, we got this shelves from Ikea, I think the, they're from, yeah, they're from Ikea, Never mind. Nothing special, just some cheap wood, but uh, they're doing the job. So, we have the CPU fan over here, then some cases, because I like to keep the boxes, uh, like the, my wife always complains about me keeping the boxes but uh i think you can relate to that well we need boxes in case you want to sell them or whatever so this is the rtx 2060 box we have some books over here about hacking and stuff like that because i'm still a geek um so we have a access point and another camera which is not plugged in right now another switch down there so let's move on to the next thing which is my youtube setup youtube corner whatever you want to call it so, okay, let's start over here on the top. So on the top we have like a, I think it's, it's, a, it's a gravity pull. So you can stick this one out and, and put it like uh, between walls. So you have like a light attached to it. You have like another webcam for live streaming and stuff like that because I wanted to eliminate every stand, like every light stand from the floor so I can have the floor uh, clear from stands because I can walk so this one helps out a lot you can pretty much mount everything to this bad boy it's very stable and I'm really happy with it so what do we have here uh, we have the another Godox this is the VL150 I have this one here because it's way quieter than the SL60V because the fans don't turn up that loud and uh, um, then we have a Swiss Sonic webcam I'm pretty sure I made a video about that then we have some standard lights. These uh, are just some soft boxes with Philips Hue lamps or bulbs in them. So whenever I try to change my scene, so th these have like the bulbs, like the Philips Hue bulbs in them too, and this soft box and behind the amp as well. So I can, whenever I want to, I can change my lighting with um, the Stream Deck. So that's pretty cool. Then we have another pole. Like I think this used to be like a microphone stand but i took it apart and mounted on the gravity pole so it works kind of like a, a hanging mic stand for the octava mk102 i think it is a uh, great sounding mic i'm going to do a video about this puppy uh, soon so yeah then um we have the imac 5k uh, which was my which was prior to the pc was my uh, main editing computer but I switched over to PC just because it's um, it's cheaper. Well, now it's not cheaper anymore, 
because of GPUs, but yeah, it's a beefed up PC and uh, this one I use for music when I ever use Logic Pro X and stuff like that. Whenever I'm on the road, I take the MacBook um, 13 inch, 16 inch, I don't know. I, it's a MacBook, so yeah. Then we have the test cam. Uh, for sound which uh, the Octava MK102 is plugged into and out of that goes the line uh, signal directly into the Blackmagic Pocket 6K. Down here we have some camera bags and light bags and we are going back here. Gonna need some light. Ah, okay, so this is the Blackmagic Pocket 6K with the teleprompter on the rig with the Atomos um, Shinobi on the top. Great camera, great setup, I love it. Down here we have the camera slider and some light accessories and even more boxes for storage and stuff like that. We have microphone box, we have a power cable box, we have audio cables, video, stuff everything pretty organized and here we have like another room i'm not sure if you can see it but it's just a separate storage room for stuff like that and that's about it so that's basically it this is a studio tour if you have any questions just post them down below it's not much or probably it is much depending if you're starting out or something like that but i'm happy with it and i'm pretty proud about it because it took me like i don't know it took me a long time to get all this stuff now, you know, because it costs money, nevertheless. Uh, nothing in this room is sponsored. Everything you see, I bought myself because my main job is not a YouTuber. My main job is an actual video editor. So, yeah, that's about it. If you have any questions, just feel free to post them down below. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Motherfucker. Ah, bitch.